What's up, y'all? Day three. Good morning. In here cooking breakfast. Same as always, six scrambled eggs, buttered wheat toast, whole wheat toast, some pyrite zero there to enjoy for flavor. So getting ready for the day, just just today and tomorrow, and hell for this week is over. I'm excited for it. It's gonna be a good day. Let's get it up, let's get it done. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I make my steak. Because you should be getting at least uh, one serving of right meat a day. Or at least you don't have to, so I shouldn't even say should. But I like it because I like red meat. So that's how I do. So what I like to do with my steak is I like to add spices to it. Some spices being the Weber Gourmet Burger. This stuff makes the meat taste amazing. And if I feel like it, I'll also add Grill Mates Sweet and Smoky Rub. The Weber has no calories in it, no sugar, no nothing. The rub has a little bit but it's a negligible amount, I don't even care. So, how I do it is, you take just like a pinch, sprinkle it on there, just all around the meat, all over it. Really, they say rub, I'm sure this is a different way to do it, but I don't really care, as long as it's on the meat. So I spread it all around, all around, all around, all around. Make it look nice and pretty. Then add the gourmet burger. Just sprinkle it on there. Doesn't need too much. I used to have Montreal steak seasoning, but then I found this and I was like, oh, this tastes a million times better. So I'll also add it to the other side of the meat when I'm cooking it. So I'll cook it on this side first. about done. I like my meat being more on the rare side, especially with red meat. Man, it smells good. <laughs> For today's workout, we're going to be starting off with an incline hammer strength press. If you don't have this machine, that's fine. Just use some incline dumbbell press or a barbell press. As long as you're doing this movement, working the upper chest here. At the top, you're getting a good squeeze, letting the weight come down slowly, getting it stretched out. You're going to do five sets of 12. The weight does not matter. You're trying to get the pump. You're trying to make the muscle burn every set. Cardio acceleration is going to be mountain climbers. Nothing new. You're going to do a minute long in between each set. If you have to stop, like I do right here, take two breaths, get right back into it. Second exercise is going to be cable crossovers. So now, if you look and see, I'm not bringing my hands to the middle. The reason being, if I do, I feel it more in my shoulders. So if I leave my hands at the position at the bottom, right where they're, right where I get the squeeze, I get a better squeeze by doing that and a better muscle pump. Again, you're doing five sets of 12. At the end, you'll see some cheat reps, but that's to get out the reps. If you do some cheat reps, that's fine at the end. But if you can, lower the weight and do more strict reps. Cardio acceleration right away is running in place. Again, a minute long. If you got to stop, take two breaths, right back into it. The final exercise is going to be machine flies. Now, if you notice, my hands are not on the grips. They're actually on the arms of the, of the machine. And the reason for that is because if I use the handle grips, I feel it more in my shoulders than I actually do in my chest. So I keep my hands on the outer outer bit of the arms. You use whatever grip works best for you. This is just because it works best for me. You're keeping your chest high, getting a good squeeze in the middle, letting the weight come down slowly. You're gonna do five sets of 12. For cardio acceleration, it's gonna be jump squats, kind of jump squats, body weight squats, a minute long, in between each set, if you have to stop, take two breaths, right back into it. The workout is done. Good shit, y'all. That workout fucking really sucked. That workout was hell. I forgot how bad these were. How much. 
how you feel on uh, low calorie and high intensity training. It's been a while. It feels good though. I don't know how, but I got a massive pump in my chest right now. And I'm only getting in like 120 something uh, grams of carbs per day. That's the, that's the hard part of it. But we did 16 sets, we did four sets of each, just like I said. And I'll tell you, when you, after that first exercise, when your body's warmed up, it, it only gets harder. But at the same time, you're like, oh man, that pump feels good. But anyways, get, get that protein shake down. Get, those, get that food, get those nutrients in your system right away. Because our bodies are depleted right now. They, it wants to feed off of the muscle. You gotta get that protein in your system in order to keep your body from doing that. Get it down, mix up that, those egg whites with whatever it is you want or if you use a protein powder, just get it down. Make sure it's low carb, or no sugar. Just get that protein in. I'm trying to preserve muscle, lose fat. I'm not on a muscle building plan right now. It's just all about maintaining the size that you have and shredding off that fat. It'll happen, trust us. See it out, four weeks, that's all it takes. What's good? It is currently 2 a.m. Almost done with this sticky paper that I'm having to do. One more day and this hell's over. But I'm already feeling the moves on my chest from the workout. A lot so I'm trying to feel it. And them too from Monday's workout. But uh, I'll be going to bed pretty soon and waking up early tomorrow to cook some chicken. Get all that done before I head out. Because I'll be on campus all day long. So. Get those meals in, get that sleep, it's important. This will be a whole lot easier once all this junk's over with. So, I will see you.